I've never seen cows being milked. Well, Tio, it's quite simple, really. Now, you just have to pull on the cow's udder, first with one hand, then with the other, like this. It looks quite easy, Grandma. Do you think I could have a go at it? Yes. Right, pull gently. Yes, that's it. Uh, Try and get it in the bucket, Tio. Oh, Grandma, it seems to be much more difficult than it looks, doesn't it? Hello, Tio. Hello, Mrs. Claudia. Isn't it a beautiful day today? Your grandpa told me you were spending your holiday here. Yes, I got here last night. Would you like to come and play with me today? Is it all right if I go and play with Sarah? Of course you can, Tio. And perhaps tomorrow you can teach me how to milk the cow again. With pleasure, my darling. Come on then, Tio. Let's go. I'll race you to the hayloft. OK, let's go. <coughs> come on, let's climb up into the hayloft. What, you mean up there? Yeah, why not? I think my friends are hiding up there. Should we go and have a look? Come along, Tio. Let's go. Hold on tight so you don't fall. OK. Wow, there's a lot of hay up here, but I can't see your friends. That's because they're hiding, Tio. Let's see if we can find them. Hey there, boys. Where are you? Hey, hello there. <laughs> ha! Take that! Ha! And that! Her, take that! Before. So who's going to try the water first then? Tio? Oh. oh, that water's really cold. Of course it is. It's a mountain stream. But it'll be all right once you get in. Come on, let's jump in. Here I go. One, two, three. Yeah! Oi, you're splashing me, you know. Come on, you chickens. Jump in. It's great. I won't stop splashing you until you get in. Come on. Me too. Come, Come on, Tio. Tio. Don't be a chicken. It's, really it's raining here in the water. Come on. Oh, I don't want to go in. It's really cold. The water's freezing. <laughs> OK, here goes. One, two, three. Good lad. Hooray. Hooray for Tio. You're right. It's not that cold at all. <laughs> Absolutely delicious when they've just been picked, Tio. Yes, they look really yummy. I'd like to eat one right now. Well, you can have one later on, Tio, but right now, how do you fancy doing a bit of cherry picking? Yes, please. I love cherries. Just you be careful you don't eat too many, Tio, or you'll ruin your appetite for lunch and then I'll get in trouble with your grandparents. <laughs> OK, now you two can pick the ones from the lower branches and I'll climb up and pick the higher ones. Right? There's lots, aren't there? Tio, try to make sure that you only pick the cherries that are good. We don't want any that have got any holes in them. Look, it looks as if someone's been eating this one. That's because they have. It's the birds that have been eating them, Tio. The birds must like them a lot. You've got twin cherries. Look. Look at me, Tio. Look what I've got. Earrings. That's a good idea. Do you like my new earrings, Tio? Do you think they suit me? Oh, yes. I think your new earrings look good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come and play with me again tomorrow, Tio? Because I'll come and call for you first thing in the morning if you like. Oh, yes, I'd like that. I love getting up early. I'll be ready at five o'clock. You don't have to get up that early. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. OK, then, eight o'clock. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Where's Tio been all day? I haven't seen him at all. Did he say what time he'd be back? He's very late, you know. Well, I think I just heard him at the front door. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Grandpa. I've had a fantastic day today. I've done so many different things. Well, I'm delighted to hear it. Tell us what you've been up to. You've been gone all day. I learnt how to milk a cow when Sarah and I picked cherries and pears. And tomorrow her dad's going to take us to the market to sell all the fruit that we collected. Well, that sounds marvellous. Hey, Grandma, I love spending my holidays here in the country with you and Grandpa. There's so much to do. I'd like to live here forever. <laughs> Tio, Tio, he's loved by everyone. And Tio, he knows finding out is fun. Down on Gwen and Grandpa.
poor Tio. He's not feeling at all well. He has flu and can't go to school. What do you do to keep yourself amused when you're ill? I wonder if Paul or Tio's friends will help. I hope the doctor lets him go back to school soon. Find out if he does in the next episode. <laughs>